Like any incoming class, you don't know what it's like until they're here. And so it's a bit early to give the statistics, but I think in general we can say the following. Number one, it will probably be slightly larger than last fall's class, and so therefore uh, the largest class we've had, right around the 7,000 mark. And I think you can anticipate that it will be a highly diverse class uh, coming in. Uh, Non-traditional students are still a small fraction of our total, but a growing fraction and a very important fraction. And, and the real key to attracting them is to understand what they need. Let, let me take one example of non-traditional students. I'm speaking now of, of veterans, veterans who are returning from their service back in, into full-time in society and want to get a degree. But still, universities can look very complicated from the outside. So um, we initiated a year and a half ago or so a VETS program, Veterans Education and Transition Services that I think is the best in the nation. We just recently had a three-day workshop for disabled vets to come on campus. We pay for it and they can see the kind of classes that are available here, the kind of recreation facilities that are available here. And so we're listening to the veterans themselves. They're telling us what they need to attract this non-traditional group back to campus, make them feel welcome, connect them up with their kindred spirits, and ensure that they're successful. So that's just one example of how, how we're helping non-traditional students come and feel comfortable at the U of A.